Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. Question says, from each corner of a square of side 4 cm, a quadrant of a circle of radius 1 cm is cut and also a circle of diameter 2 cm is cut as shown in figure 12.23. Find the area of the remaining portion of the square. This is the given figure 12.23. First of all, let us understand that area of sector of a circle is equal to theta upon 360 multiplied by pi r square, where theta is the angle of sector in degrees and R is the radius of the circle. Also, area of square is equal to side square and area of circle is equal to pi R square where R is the radius of the circle. Now we will use these formulas as our key idea to solve the given question. Let us now start with the solution. Now, clearly we can see ABCD is a square whose each side is equal to 4 centimeters. So we can write AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA is equal to 4 centimeters. We are also given that these are 4 quadrants of a circle of radius 1 centimeters. And diameter of this circle is equal to 2 centimeters. Now we have to find area of the shaded region. Clearly we can see if we subtract area of this circle and area of these four quadrants from area of square ABCD, then we get the area of shaded region. So first of all, we will find area of square ABCD. From key idea, we know area of square is equal to side square and each side of this square is equal to 4 centimeters. So, area of square ABCD is equal to square of 4 centimeters square which is further equal to 16 centimeters square. So, area of square ABCD is equal to 16 centimeters square. Now, we know quadrant is nothing but a sector whose angle is 90 degrees. So, we will find area of quadrant by using the formula for area of sector. We know area of sector is equal to theta upon 360 multiplied by pi r square. Now, area of quadrant is equal to 90 upon 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by square of 1 centimeter square. We know here theta is equal to 90 degrees and radius is equal to 1 centimeters. Now, we will substitute 22 upon 7 for pi and we get 90 upon 360 multiplied by 22 upon 7 multiplied by square of 1 centimeter square is equal to area of quadrant. Now, simplifying further, we get 90 upon 360 multiplied by 22 upon 7 multiplied by 1 centimeter square. We know 
square of 1 is equal to 1. Now 0 will get cancelled by 0. We know 9 multiplied by 1 is equal to 9 and 9 multiplied by 4 is equal to 36. So we get 1 upon 4 multiplied by 22 upon 7 centimeter square is equal to area of 1 quadrant. Now we know these are the 4 quadrants of a circle of radius 1 centimeters. So all of them have equal areas. So we can write area of 4 quadrants is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 upon 4 multiplied by 22 upon 7 centimeter square. Now 4 will get cancelled by 4 and we get area of 4 quadrants is equal to 22 upon 7 centimeter square. Now we will find out area of this circle. We know area of circle is equal to pi r square where r is the radius of the circle. Here we are given diameter of circle is equal to 2 centimeters. Now we know radius is equal to half of diameter. So radius of circle that is r is equal to 1 centimeters. Now area of given circle is equal to pi multiplied by square of 1 centimeter square. Now substituting 22 upon 7 for pi we get area of circle is equal to 22 upon 7 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 centimeter square. Now we get area of given circle is equal to 22 upon 7 centimeter square. Now we know area of shaded region is equal to area of square ABCD minus area of 4 quadrants plus area of given circle. So we can write area of shaded region is equal to area of ABCD minus area of circle plus area of 4 quadrants. Now substituting corresponding values of area of square ABCD, area of circle and area of 4 quadrants, we get 16 minus 22 upon 7 plus 22 upon 7 is equal to area of shaded region. Now simplifying further, we get 16 minus 44 upon 7 centimeter square is equal to area of shaded region. Now subtracting these two terms by taking their LCM we get 68 upon 7 centimeter square. So we get area of this shaded region is equal to 68 upon 7 centimeter square. So this is our required answer. This completes the session. Hope you understood the solution. Take care and have a nice day.